I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will review our learnings about logarithmic functions and that is going to help us to sketch logarithmic functions and evaluate them. So what we are talking about is really y equals to log a of x in general. Now in this equation a is the base and x is the independent variable, y is dependent on x. As you know a the base could be between 0 to 1 or it could be greater than 1. Depending on the value of the base we have graph of a logarithmic function which is either always decreasing or always increasing right. So let me first sketch more popular graph which is when a is greater than 1 in that case it is always increasing and it is kind of like this right. Now if the value of a is between 0 and 1 in that case the graph will be always decreasing kind of like this is it okay okay so that is how the graph is going to be and both these graphs will have one common point and that is their value when x is equal to 1 is going to be 0 right so that is y for us and this is the vertical asymptote. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 0, right? So in general, this is the characteristics of the logarithmic functions. And let me clearly write that a, a cannot be equal to 1, right? Now, from here, you can easily say what is the domain of the function. Domain of the function is that x belongs to real numbers but x is always on the right side of origin, it is greater than 0. As far as the range is concerned, y belongs to real numbers and there is no restriction on the range of this function, right? So that broadly gives us the characteristics of the logarithmic function. Now I think we can talk about how to evaluate some logarithmic functions. So let's again consider log a of x. Now to evaluate the strategy normally is you have to find the value of y log a of x or sometimes to find x. You can actually rearrange this equation and rearranging really means that a to the power of y is equals to x. You could write x as equals to a to the power of y. Now that is a very good way of evaluating or finding the value of logarithmic function. So that is very important. Another thing what we realize is that if we have log a of a, then its value is 1, correct? We can write y equals to log a of a, that means y is 1. And log a, a to the power of n will result into y equals to n, correct? Now that is uh, the behavior as you can see in this graph itself. If I have x equals to a, in that case, let us say this is a, and in that I have taken it on the right side, greater than 1, so I am going to this graph, right? So at that point, always y value is going to be 1, correct? So that is how it is. If I have a square, if I take another value which is a square, in that case it is going to be at 2. And on the other hand, if I have a value here, which is 1 over a, for example, that means a to the power of minus 1, in that case, I'll get a value of minus 1, right? So that is the meaning. When a to the power of n is there, then the value is n. So actually, this helps us to find out the key values to sketch graph of logarithmic functions, right? So what we can look here is that uh, we can just write different values and see what happens. So I will actually put the key values here. These key values or key points, let us say, help us to sketch logarithmic functions, right? Now when I am saying key points, then the coordinate points include x and y values. So we will see what kind of x values we can take so that we get appropriate y values to sketch the graph, right? So in general, we have seen here that if we have 
a to the power of n these are the x values correct okay? this is x value right we we are changing we are writing different x values x value in this case is a to the power of n correct okay? so if i write x value as a to the power of 0 then the y value will be 0 correct okay? If I write x value as a to the power of 1, then y value will be 1. If I write 8 square as the x value, then I am going to get here 2. Similarly, if I write here minus 1, I get minus 1 for y, and a to the power of minus 2 will give us minus 2. Correct? When I say a to the power of minus 2, it really means what? It means 1 over a square. Do you see that? And this means 1 over a. And this means a to the power of anything to the power of 0 will be 1. Anything to the power of 1 will be a itself. And square is a square. So these becomes the x values. Correct? So from here, you can write the coordinate points. Coordinate points in general will be 1 over a square minus 2. 1 over a will give us minus 1. 1 will give us 0. At a will get 1 and at a square will get 2. So these are good points to take on the graph and then using these points we can actually sketch the transformed function. Correct? Now to give you an example let me use this space here for the coordinate points and let me take one concrete example to close this video. Let us consider y equals to log 3 of x. Now in that case what should be my points? log 3 of x. So that means that I could take points as, let me write down all the points here in short, using these set of values. These set of values, correct? Okay. So what we can write here as, 3 is my a. So 1 over 3 square means 1 over 9. So 1 over 9 will result into minus 2. 1 over 3 will result in minus 1. Correct? For 1, we will get 0. For 3, we will get 1, right? I am replacing a with 3. And for 3 square, which is 9, I should get 2. So these 5 points will become key points for log 3x. Similarly, if I have log 5x, then this will be 1 over 25, 1 over 5, 1, 5, and 25, correct? So then, we will use those values. So that is in general, that's what I mean to say that A, the base of the logarithmic function, decides which key points should we consider to sketch the graph for any logarithmic function, right? So with this video, I hope you understand that logarithmic functions are either always increasing, they're always increasing if the base is greater than one. They're always decreasing if the base is between 0 to 1. It cannot be 1, right? Secondly, we can evaluate logarithmic functions or, or simple expressions using this interchange into exponential form. y equals to log to the base a of x could be written as x is equals to a to the power of y. See, the base remains same. Do you see the base is a in exponential function also? Then these are very simple properties. We will explore more properties about logarithmic functions later. But at present, to evaluate logarithmic functions, we will use these simple properties. And these properties are also utilized for picking up the key points, right? And another very important key feature is, of course, the vertical asymptote, right? So vertical asymptote for base logarithmic function is x equals to 0, correct? So that is very important parameter. Keeping these things in view, I think it will be very easy for you to evaluate simple logarithmic expressions and uh, sketch the graph for logarithmic transformed functions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.